Good day, you are welcome to my channel. I'm Onyechi Evangeline Chioma, and in today's tutorial, I'll be teaching us how to make the pinnacle auto gele or the arc auto gele. So, I made my base, I'll leave the link of how I, you know, made this base in the description box so you can watch if you don't know how to make it. So, this one is a side, and um, if you Ah, just seeing this video for the first time you're welcome to my channel then if you if you are a returning subscriber you are also welcome to my channel so for the base for the frame I've already joined it together and I have a belt it's it's um, strips of ashoka in here the smallest is about 22 inches the next one is about 24 inches and um, I made sure that I joined them center to center like the midpoint to the big point like I folded it so that th the midpoint of this one will align with the midpoint of the second one just like that until I get to the end so that means that whatever space I have here I will also have it here do you understand so that is it then for the other measurements i will leave it in the description box so you can see the measurements the last one is about 15 inches this one is the next one is 48 this one is about 46 just don't worry about the measurements i'll leave it in the description box so that you can you know go through it then before i joined it i make sure i hem each strip of a showcase like the edges I sealed it okay so that it will not you know fray so that's just it that's how I got to this stage so let's proceed to the pleating okay so what I'm going to do now is that starting from the smallest one which is about 22 inches I'm going to fold it this way Fold one inch inside, then stitch it to my base. So this is my base. This is my base. This is the the frame. So and this is the center of my base. And the center of my frame it will align center to center okay so I have marked the midpoints of my base then I also match the midpoint of my frame so I'm going to fold it in this way like one inch inward then join it this way with the two centers together. Then I'm going to stitch. Then I'm going to come out like two inch from here. Then mark another two inch from this edge. Then stitch it this way. So it's going to come out to the front this way then this other side will come out to the front this way okay so let me go ahead and use my sewing machine and stitch I'm done stitching it as you can see if you don't have a sewing machine you can go ahead and use needle and threads to you know stitch so at this point after stitching we start pleating I'm going to make my pleats, my normal pleats on this first three layers. This one, two, and three. So let me go ahead and make my pleats. And I'm taking it um, individually. So if you are a beginner, I'm sure you enjoy this tutorial because I'm going to, you know, explain everything you need to know about making an auto arc. Okay. 
So um, as you are pleating, don't make this rough side where you're trying to you know, show. Ensure that it's inside. So can you see the way I'm pleating? I'm taking it gradually so that I won't mess up. So I'm working on the second strip of Ashoki. So I'm finally done with the second pleat of Ashoki. The second strip I mean. So I'm working on the third one. So after piling it now, go ahead and stitch. Secure it with your needle and thread. So this is my needle and thread. I'm going to start tacking from the back. Then as I tack, I arrange, okay? So can you see I'm piling it? So I start from the center so that it won't, you know, lose. Then I will go ahead and arrange this side. Then after arranging, I'll take it inside, then bring on my thread. You can make this one very firm. So you arrange and tack. Bring out your pleats. Make sure that they are well arranged. File it very well. So now I'm going to go ahead and tack this side. So that is how I'll continue doing. I will arrange, tack then go to the next side then after that after arranging this side i'll come over to this side then arrange tack and move over to the other side then i'll make sure i pile it very well okay so let me do the rest of camera and show you so i'm done um tacking it so for you to get neat tacking um, start stacking from the first pleats you made and not from here. I forgot to tell us earlier. Then if you want this place to be very neat, then return the stitches immediately after the one you brought out, okay? So let's continue. This um, other two pleats, for these two pleats now, I won't be tacking it the way I tacked this. So my arc is going to start from here. So I'm going to start my pleats from the edge can you see i changed the position of my camera so you can see what i'm doing better i'm going to pleat one two then i'm taking this one three just make the pleats as big as you can three i have four pleats here So this four pleats now I'll now adjust this one to meet this other pleats okay just adjust it this way in order to meet this pleats then I'll secure it with my needle and thread then I'll move over to the other side and form the four pleats okay the same way I did here 
okay as you're attacking it make sure that this place is very neat that you don't you know bring out trade anyhow just make an invisible tacking so i'm going to still place it like i'm going to still stitch like two or three times okay before going over to the other side so this is how i make my invisible tacking this is where the thread is i'll still return it very close to it then i want to make the last stitches i'll arrange this very well arrange it very well so that it will align with the other parts of pleats we'll have earlier then from here i'll insert my needle then after which i'll secure it then cut out the excess then repeat the same process to the other side okay i have done the other side then for this side i'm going to make and don't forget to make your pleats very big as big as possible for this too okay it will give it that very curve if you make it small you won't like it you won't like the outcome okay So make your pleats very big then you adjust so we are done tacking the two sides and uh, stitch like five inch here and five inch here so the next thing i'm going to do now is to start pleating the fan so the fan for the arc okay so i'm going to start here the last at the last um strip of ashoke so i will start making pleats like i'll make like five small pleats on this first strip of ashoke then i will now increase my pleats okay so this is just to have this effect at the back to make the back very full so i'll make my pleats then i'm counting it so that i'll have the same number over there I have two pleats here. I'll make another one. This is three pleats. This is the fourth pleat. And this is the fifth pleat. So after these five pleats, I'm going to increase my pleats. I'm going to increase it. And um, this is it. This is one. I make another big pleat. Two, three, four, and um, five. Then I will now come and join it to this one with my needle and thread. Tack it with your needle and thread. Join it. So try and tack it firm. Then after tacking it, you move over to the other side and repeat the same process. You know that we made um, five small pleats. Five small pleats. Then five big pleats. One, two. Three, four, five. So now, after which I will increase my pleats. One, two, three, four, then five. Then I will now tack it just like the way I tacked the other side. I'm done doing that for the two sides and um, the next thing is to fix the handle so you can go ahead and cut out this excess here or you leave it this way and insert your handle for me I'm going to be leaving mine this way because I'm going to make use of the ashoke some other time so for the handle I have about two pieces of ashoke cut out 
and um, it's about nine inches the length is about nine inches so i'm going to fold into two each i'm going to take one then fold it into two then stitch okay so let me go and do that off camera and show you so this is one i've sewed it i'll turn out the right side so after this i'm going to sew this place to you know tighten it to make it less you know bulky so i can be able to insert it inside the handle that's just the essence So, but if we can go ahead and cut it no problems just do that so i'm done stitching it the next thing i'm going to do is to insert it inside the handle so i'm done um, inserting it inside so i have to you know fold this edge inside just fold it inside then tuck so i'm going to tuck the handle to the frame okay so with my needle and thread i'll start tacking it then after tacking it you tuck the other side To just repeat the same process to the other side okay so let me go off camera and do the rest fixing the handle for the two and um, this is what I have so the next thing is to place it on my mannequin head then arrange the arc I have placed it on my mannequin head so the next thing I have to do now is to arrange my pleats okay so I don't know if you can see what I'm doing I'm trying to arrange the pleats So you keep arranging the pleats one after the other to form the arc, okay? So I raise it up. So with my heart inside, I'll be able to arrange it to my taste. It's gradually forming, okay? So you keep arranging it. That is where the work is. And the extent you arrange it will bring out the beauty. So this is it then you go ahead and tie the back so this is it's about the arc then if you want the arc to be at the other side you just do it this way so 
so make sure to arrange your pleats very well then if you find these tutorials useful make sure you click on the like button then subscribe to my channel